Hi everyone, my name is Marcelo and in this video we will learn how to get a list of files from a directory in YPath. So I have here a directory that has some files, so as we can see here. So the first step is to use assign activities. So let's go to activities and let's search for assign and let's drag the activity to our project. So let's create here a variable. So let's do here a control K and now let's define the name of the variable. So it can be array files. And now here on the value to define to the variable, we will use a method that will return to us a list of files of certain directory. So let's type in directory dot get files. And now let's open parentheses. And now inside the parentheses, we will have to pass the path of the directory. So uh, let's create a variable to store the path of the directory. So let's go to variables and let's create a new one. So let's define here the name as directory path. And now here on default, let's pass so uh, the path of the directory. So let's go here to projects. Let's open the explorer. And now to get the path, let's click here on the folder. Let's click on home and let's click on copy path. And now we got uh, the path on our clipboard. So now let's use here control B. And so it's defining the value of these variables. So now let's open here the sign. And now let's call here the variable that we created that contains the path of the directory. And now let's click on OK. So we can see that we are getting here a error. So if you over here, we can see that the year says cannot assign from a type system.string array to system.string. So we are getting this error because this method is supposed to define a value to array of string because it returns a list of values. So let's go here to variables. And here on array files, so let's change the variable type to array of string. So let's click here on array. And now let's choose here of string and let's click on OK. And now as we can see here, we are not getting the error. Now to see the returned files, let's use a for each activity. So let's type in here for each. Let's drag it after the sign. So now here we have to pass the name of the array, so array files. And now on the properties of the activity on type argument, let's select the option string because the values of the array are of type string. And now to see easily each value iterated from the array, let's use a right line activity. And let's drag it inside the for each loop. And now let's type in item and with this variable we'll have access to each value iterated from the array. So let's run our automation to see how it's working. And as we can see here we got the full path of each file from the directory. So I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more RP related videos. Bye bye.